Hey everyone, I'm Charles Judd, and in this video, we're gonna look at the 1.3e topic of EIGRP named mode. Now, we've been working with named mode configuration in a few places throughout this entire section, but I want to make sure we understand some of the subtleties involved with that, and also how we do redistribution into EIGRP named mode. You may also hear named EIGRP mode referred to as multi-address family mode or multi-AF mode. This new mode was introduced in iOS 15 as a way to simplify our EIGRP configuration into one place within our running configuration. With classic mode, when we look at our running config, some of that would be found under the interface itself and some listed under the EIGRP global process. So named mode essentially consolidates all of that configuration into one place. I'll also point out that there's no issue running EIGRP classic mode on one router and EIGRP named mode on a neighboring router because things work exactly the same in the background. You can see that I have three routers here. R1 and R2 will be participating in EIGRP while R2 and R3 will participate in OSPF. In a bit, we'll look at redistribution, but for now, let's create a simple named configuration. I already have basic connectivity with IP addressing in place, and our OSPF configuration is also in place. If we go here on R2 and say show IP OSPF neighbor, we'll see that we do have a neighborship with R3. If we say show IP route OSPF, we'll see the loopback interface of R3 learned by OSPF here on R2. So let's configure named EIGRP mode. Again, we've used this in a few places already in this section, but just to shore up this topic, let's take a closer look. We'll start here on router two, and it's very simple to do. We'll say router EIGRP, and we want to give this a name, which I'm going to just make lab in my case. So we've created an instance of EIGRP named lab. This can be used for all of our address family types under this single instance, rather than creating separate EIGRP instances. And we would of course use different autonomous system numbers. There are three configuration modes with named EIGRP where most of the configuration takes place. The first is address family configuration mode, and we get there by creating an address family and indicating an autonomous system number. So let's do that. We'll say address hyphen family. You'll see that we can indicate IP version four or IP version six. I want IP version four in this case. And you can see that we have the option to manually indicate unicast, which is what we want. But that command isn't absolutely necessary because this is the default. If we leave that keyword out, it will automatically be placed into our configuration. This is our default mode. So let's say autonomous hyphen system, and I'll make this number one. Once we complete this, you'll see that we are now under address family configuration mode. From here, we can configure things like our router ID, we can configure a specific IP version for remote neighbor, and most commonly our networks. Let's go ahead and say EIGRP router hyphen ID, and I'll make this 2.2.2.2. Let's specify our network statement. We'll say network 2.2.2.2, all zeros mask. Let's also say network 10.1.1.0. 0.0.0.3. Another mode we can go into is address family interface configuration mode. So any commands that were previously performed at the actual interface level with classic EIGRP, we would configure that under address family interface mode. So if we say AF hyphen interface and we say gig zero slash zero, you'll see that now we're under address family interface configuration mode. And if we look at our options available here, you can see that we can configure things such as split horizon, authentication, and summary addressing. I'll also say that this is an issue I've definitely ran into before when troubleshooting named EIGRP. I have forgotten about this requirement and I've gone under the logical interface configuration and changed some of those parameters there while I'm using EIGRP named mode, and that didn't work. That's because they will be ignored with named EIGRP mode unless they are specifically configured under address family interface configuration mode. So do be aware of that. The third mode for EIGRP named configuration that we wanna look at is the address family topology configuration mode. So anything we configure here 
would operate on the EIGRP topology table. That would be things like redistribution and also the variance command that we explored in a previous video. So if we go back under our address family configuration mode, we can say topology base, and now we are under address family topology configuration mode. And if we look at contextual help, you'll see many of those available options here. Again, we'll come back later and look at this with redistribution. For now, let me break out of here and let me say show run pipe two section router EIGRP. And we're going to see our entire EIGRP configuration consolidated into one place with named mode. With classic mode, some of our configuration commands would be dispersed throughout our running configuration. So for example, if we had authentication with classic mode, we would see that under the physical interface configuration section. Also, if we've configured things like bandwidth restrictions, different hello timers, things like that would also be found under the interface configuration if we're using classic EIGRP. So hopefully you can see the advantages of using this method. Another big advantage I'll point out is that when we use named EIGRP mode for our authentication, we're able to use our stronger SHA-256 option. With classic mode, we can only do MD5 authentication. Let's jump over to R1, and just to show you a couple of things here, let's create a classic EIGRP configuration on this router. Let's say router EIGRP autonomous system one, we'll say EIGRP router hyphen ID 1.1.1.1. I'll say network 1.1.1.1 with an all zeros mask. I'll also say network 10.1.1.0. 0.0.0.3. And once I do that, you'll see that we have an adjacency form. So again, this is reinforcing the fact that we can mix classic and named mode without any problem, as long as the autonomous system numbers match. Now, I specifically configured classic mode here to show you that compatibility, but also to show you the automatic conversion feature in iOS. There's a built-in method to convert classic EIGRP configuration to a named EIGRP configuration. And this can be done without affecting our peering. It won't take down our neighborship. We can do that by going under our EIGRP process, which we already are. We're already under router EIGRP one, and we can use the command EIGRP upgrade hyphen CLI. And then we would follow that with the name of our EIGRP instance, whatever we want that to be named, which by the way is locally significant. That doesn't have to match between our routers. So I can actually call this one CCIE. I'll be prompted for confirmation. If I say yes, then momentarily we'll see a message letting us know that this conversion is complete, which we do see now. And we'll also eventually get a message letting us know about a resync due to a route configuration change. And we see that just come into our console now. So if I break out of here and I say show run pipe to section router EIGRP, now we're going to see our named instance in place instead of our classic configuration. If I say show IP route here on R1, we of course will not see a route to the 3.3.3.3 network, which is over in our OSPF area. So let's look at redistribution with named EIGRP. Let's go back to router two, and we do this under address family topology configuration mode, which I mentioned earlier. So let's say router EIGRP lab. We want to say address hyphen family IP version four autonomous hyphen system one. And then we want to say topology base. And from here we can say redistribute OSPF one. And we want to say metric. Remember when we're redistributing into EIGRP, we have to specify our seed metrics. First, we're gonna be prompted for our bandwidth in kilobits per second, which for me would be 1 million using a gig link. Next, we're going to be asked for our delay, which I'll set to one, followed by our reliability. I'll say 255 to indicate that we are 100% reliable. Next will be our load. I'll say one to indicate that we are minimally loaded. And finally, the MTU, which I will set to the default of 1500. So with that in place, if we go back over to R1 now, and we again say show IP route, we now see the 3.3.3.3 .3 .3 .3 route 
found in the routing table. Now, one thing we have to be careful about here are our EIGRP wide metrics. If you're not familiar with the concept of wide versus classic EIGRP metrics, go back and check out my video on section 1.3b, which covers the difference in those metrics and what that's all about. But the short story is that our wide metrics used with EIGRP named mode can potentially create a situation where we have a 64-bit number that won't fit into our 32-bit iOS rib. We can run this command again on R2. Let's redistribute this with different seed metrics to see if we can see this happen. So we could say redistribute OSPF1 metric. I'm just going to say 1111, and I'll set the MTU to 1500 again. So if we put that in place and we go back to R1 and we say show IP route, you're going to notice that our 3.3.3.3 network is now missing from our routing table. If we say show IP route 3.3.3.3, we're told that the network is not in the table. So we have to be aware of this type of issue when we're setting our seed metric. If we're not seeing our routes after redistribution, then this is definitely something you would want to check. Now we can correct this, of course, by going back and changing our seed metrics, or we can do that by altering the rib scale metric that we explored in a previous video. That again can be seen in the 1.3b EIGRP video if you wanna take a closer look at that. Now, obviously in my case, these metrics are not correct and we will wanna change that, but just to show you where we could change the metric rib scale once again, just to go over that one more time, we do that under address family configuration mode. So I can say exit. And then if I say metric, you can see that one of those options is rib hyphen scale. And we are able to set that between one and 255. This defaults to 128 in named EIGRP mode. Again, in our case, the correct thing to do would be to alter our seed metrics. But I did wanna show you that option and just cover that once again, even though we've looked at it in a previous video. So if I go back here and I go under topology base, and I'm just gonna arrow up and put in my original redistribution command. If I go back to R1 and I again say show IP route 3.3.3.3, once again, we have that available in our routing table as we would expect to see. So that's a closer look at EIGRP named mode. I hope you found this content useful and I wanna thank you sincerely for watching.